Hi, and welcome back to your autism game plan. I'm Joya Vanderlaan, a family nurse practitioner, a functional medicine specialist, and also an autism mom myself. Today, we're going to talk about inflammation in the brain in autistic kids. Inflammation in any kind of tissue, I, including the brain, I always think about those tissues becoming inflamed and angry, irritated, right, with any inflammation that's going on. So whether we have inflammation of the skin causing that kind of angry tissue look, right, that redness, and it just doesn't look normal. I think of inflammation in the brain, that brain is angry, right? And so when the brain is inflamed, neurotransmitters aren't getting produced, the function of the brain is altered. And so that can lead to all sorts of things because let's be honest, we know the brain controls just about everything that happens in our bodies and our brains as well. So if there's an alteration in the function of the brain, then that can lead to any kind of symptom. Um, it leads to neurotransmitter dysfunction. It leads to dysfunction in sensation and perception. It can lead to dysfunction in um, perception of communication or ability to, to communicate. All sorts of things. So when we think of inflammation and brain inflammation and symptoms of brain inflammation, the causes and symptoms both are myriad. There's so many different causes, so many different symptoms, because the fact is the brain controls everything that happens in our bodies and in our brains. A few symptoms that are pretty common with brain inflammation, as in what we see with autism a lot of times, is seizures and stimming. Uh, not stemmy, stimming, it's a self-stimulatory behavior. Um, sometimes we see gastrointestinal issues like diarrhea, constipation, gas, bloating, because remember that connection between the brain and the gut is so intricate and so solid that the brain affects the gut and the gut affects the brain and vice versa. So um, GI symptoms, the seizures in kids with autism we know are happening at a higher rate than in kids in the general population. And sometimes that does have to do with inflammation of the brain. So it's important to keep in mind are there causes, are there symptoms of brain inflammation happening in your child? And sometimes, of course, then this brain inflammation can cause a lack of meeting the milestones, speech milestones, movement milestones, can even cause problems with sleep. So we want to be always on the lookout, always thinking about root causes instead of thinking, well, my child just was born with seizures. Why? Why, why do they have seizures? Is there something that you can do about that? Is there something you can do to help their stimming behavior um, from a root cause perspective. There's a growing body of research more and more that shows that our kids with autism have inflammation for one, but hyperreactive or overreactive immune responses to things that other people aren't having the same excess response to. And what that causes then, once we have an overreactive immune system, is inflammation. And then we're stuck, our, our kids are stuck in this heightened state of inflammation of immune response, which then causes tissue damage. So again, wherever that inflammation is, that chronic inflammation can cause tissue damage. Normally what will happen is the body will experience uh, an insult. So whether that's a toxin that causes inflammation or a microbe, say a bacteria or a virus that causes inflammation or even an injury that causes inflammation, that inflammation is and should be short-lived. The body increases that inflammation to take care of the problem and then it should go back down. The problem is that with our kids, with these hyperactive immune responses, that inflammation just stays up there and then causes this tissue damage. So they're, they're in this constant state of immune hyperreactivity and then immune and um, inf like this heightened state of inflammation. So what can we do to help this inflammation? And the way I, that I practice with a functional medicine lens is that begs the question, what's causing the inflammation? If I don't know or don't suspect what's causing the inflammation, I don't know where to start looking or treating the inflammation. So looking for a root cause is one. Once we find the root cause, then we can do different lifestyle changes, diet and activity. Certainly sleep is really, really important for managing inflammation and immune response. But then we can also decide on certain targeted supplements and in some cases even medications to target the root causes um, of the inflammation and treat that inflammation to prevent our children from being in this constant state of high inflammation. 
one of the things I see parents confused about and torn with is all these fancy treatments, stem cells and hyperbaric oxygen and even stool transplants, all these things, right, that may help with autism, partially because they can help with inflammation. My suggestion is not to start with those expensive and fancy, really niche treatments. They certainly have their place and work really well. However, I always say it like this. You can't out supplement a bad diet. You can't out supplement bad sleep. There's there's certain foundational things like diet and sleep, activity, methylation, detoxification, GI health that you have to have in place and be treating or have treated in order for a lot of these other fancier, more expensive treatments to work really well. And that's one of the reasons that I created my course um, to give you the tools that you need to implement healing and, and treatment and addressing these foundational um, or root cause, often the, the typical root causes of a lot of the autistic symptoms. So check out my course. You'll learn a ton. Your children will benefit from it. The whole family probably will benefit from it, actually. So check it out. If it's for you, I'd love to have you take the course. If you have any questions, of course, email me. I usually try and respond um, myself. Sometimes I'll get a backlog, so it may be a little bit delayed, but um, I do intend to respond to every single email we get myself personally. If you're watching this, your child probably has autism. If your child has autism, they probably are experiencing some level of increased inflammation. So keep in mind what I've talked about in the video. Consider uh, looking at my website, www.yourautismgameplan.com and check out the course that I'm offering. Um, so many people have benefited from it so far and um, we hope hundreds and hundreds, thousands more will as well. Thanks for watching and remember, be gentle with yourself. You're doing a great job.